everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is the third part of our Any Swift Tips episode about dynamic frameworks. In it, I will show you how you can add your newly created framework as a dependency to your project with the help of Git submodules. For those of you who don't know what Git submodules are, they are a way of having Git repositories inside another main Git repository. So what will this allow us to do is to fetch the code with the help of Git submodules. And then what is left to be done is just to fix the paths in our workspace files so that it points to the right location in the submodule. Let's start. Right. So what are submodules first? So they are, this is their official documentation. Submodules are a way of adding Git repository within a Git repository. There is also another option to do the same thing. It's called Git subtrees. I won't go into detail what the differences between them are. I'll use submodules for now. And basically what you need to know in order to use them is that this is how you add submodules. And there's a specific thing that you have to do when you're checking out this repository or cloning it somewhere else, not on your local machine. But we'll go into the, these details later. So first now, let's screen our project from, from Cartage. So now, if you have a look at what we have, we have the, the cartridge integration ready so how we remove it that's the first thing that we have to do so all cartridge does uh, all it does to our project is it just adds you just have to have these two files this directory and if you have added a run script to your target to copy the frameworks you should remove it and it's you're all clean from cartridge nothing is remain uh, remaining from it and that's really cool it's really lightweight like it's really easy to integrate it and remove it from a project with coco pods for example when you compare it there, there it's like way harder to do those things at least uh, from my point of view but let's see how we'll do it so basically we just need to remove these folders now like the card file card file resolved and the cartridge folder and with this we're done cartridge is gone we don't have this build phase it was that easy, so it's so simple. Uh, we can uh, also make a commit about this. So now this is what happens according to our Git repository. Uh, I will make a commit and will say cartridge integration removed like this. I'll push this to my remote uh, location and now how uh, we are linking with submodules so the command was this git submodule at let's take a let's copy this part put it here and get a link to our dependency so before you start just like with cartridge you should have two separate repositories and the one with your dependency you want to add like here and if i trigger this command now if i start it what will happen is in my root directory like here a folder called loading view will be added and the whole repository loading view will be checked out there however 
if you have a lot of dependencies in your project and you want to link them like this you may get the root of your main dependency a little messy because there will be so many things in it let's say you have 20 or 30 let's say a thousand dependencies that's a bad thing uh, by the way if you have a project with so much dependencies you're doing something wrong and you should consider like cleaning it up but if you have it that means you have a hundred folders here with checkouts from different repositories and that's that can be uh, ugly i mean it's it's not good of it it's not a good thing to have so what you can do is provide an additional parameter here to this command to a location in which you want this to be fetched so depend let's say i will fetch everything in a folder called dependencies like this and also loading view when I do this what will happen is instead of making a folder called loading view I'll have a folder dependencies and in it I'll have a folder loading view and this is where the repository will be checked out uh, and so a git directory for is found locally with remote if you want to reuse this yeah this happens with me because i have played with these sub modules before and maybe something gets wrong there i don't know with you this should not appear so i'll just force it like this but yeah with you you, sh you shouldn't have this problem so this is what happens now i have the folder dependencies in my road loading view and in it i have the project checked out how the two git repositories talk to each other what uh, parts of their changes are visible and where they are visible this is what we'll discuss now if i go into lionheart or documents lion hard demo in this uh, directory so this is uh, the directory of my project I'm seeing that a new file dot git modules is created here's what it looks like it will have a list for every sub module added like similar to this it will say the path in which the project the git repository should be checked out and the url from which it should be fetched and yeah maybe you figured it out by yourself at this point if i copy this and paste it at the bottom and switch its locations to point to somewhere else I can fetch a second dependency like this but yeah let's leave it for now you got the idea they are that simple and notice how the whole folder in my dependencies uh, directory the whole directory loading view is tracked as a single file and this is what is visible to your root uh, repository this one land hard demo it sees its modules as a single files and it points to them it knows only uh, about which uh, commit has to be checked out for this repository to work nicely and if we go inside dependencies change directory dependencies loading view if I issue git status you see that uh, the directory is 
that in 33 is clean and that that is because this now refers to the Walden view repository it's another repository within our initial one I won't get into a lot of details how these work because you can search for it on the like you can read about it on the internet even here it's written really nicely there are a lot of tutorials we don't want to get like that specific about it but yeah basically two repositories one within the another and now in our first one in the root one if I commit this changes I can name the commit like this added a sub module to loading view dependency or just loading view for, to be short yeah if I push this now you will see that when we go to github to the page of our where is it Langhard demo if I go to dependencies you will see how it is showed its icon is different and it says at and the name of the commit at which is checked out Th that's how you can recognize that a specific thing is sub module it's not part of the repository and once you have this then again it's uh, pretty simple to link it I'm just gonna remove the old record which is no longer valid it was pointing to the cartridge location and you can go here open your dependency just drag and drop again in your workspace this file you don't have to change any settings here regarding the linking you have this record just fine uh, and this record doesn't care about the location of the product like the uh, created dynamic framework because it takes it from here it this basically says in this workspace find a project called loading view and build it and use its target so if we just fix this thing here to point to the real location it should all go nicely let's check yep it builds fine it's all good our linking is updated and we're done there's one uh, trick that you have to know about submodules when you're checking them out on another computer or in another location let's say I go to like if I check if I check out this thing in documents let's say I, I'll go to my documents folder and create a folder called Lionheart demo 2 like this I'll go into this directory it's empty nothing in it and if I clone this direct this uh, repository there <coughs> so git clone the now the repository is here uh, yeah uh, this is not a git repository it's uh, within this directory so lionheart demo yeah i'm with must uh, on master but if i open it and open the workspace first pay attention to the fact that loading view is empty what this means is that when i go here and open it the project file will not be found and I can't build the project and so that's bad how you fix this well 
what you can do is now you can say git submodules submodule init like this and it says hey there's a registered path for submodule uh, and it wakes up the submodule part and now you have to do update and this is what will fetch the uh, the git repository at which this dependency points this submodule points and place it in this directory and now if you try to build again it should all work nice and this project should be found but let's close the workspace and open it again because maybe some issue have occurred but see now it's there let's open it if for some reason hmm, it's still not found that's strange Car because it points to cartridge checkout so I haven't committed the change for some reason to my workspace or I haven't pushed it maybe I have committed it but I haven't pushed it uh, so I'm in line hard demo uh, but why I'm there? Like, wait a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm on the right location. Uh, let's go to my initial uh, and see what the status is. I have a modified workspace that I haven't committed and I haven't pushed. So I should. Uh, do this or yeah, that's the original uh, repository and it builds fine let's commit this change in fact let's see the change from here it's just this thing that is missing see it's not cartridge checkout anymore but it's dependencies and so um uh, so dependency no maybe linking done with git submodules yep and if we put this i mean push when we go in the, into the place that we have checked out a new location imagine this is a new computer if we pull it from here we'll have the workspace references updated and so when we open it the warning view is found and because we have run git init git submodules init and git submodules update the project builds nicely again. Cool, that's it from Xcode. I hope you found this content useful. This was the last video about dynamic frameworks that I had in mind for now. Stay tuned if you want to learn more tips and tricks about iOS development and all Xcode related. Thanks for watching guys, have a nice day.